Hello, this is um, a video response to Trust in JC. To your video titled Apostle Paul's Occult Connection, Adding Up the Numbers. Before I begin in this video response, um, the Lord is leading me to do this video. Uh, by His Spirit guiding me. Uh, and I must obey the Lord Jesus Christ. Although I did not watch all your video, I did not need to. Just because your title says it all. Claiming that Apostle Paul being in a, in a, a cult alone right there is um, is a false uh, statement we're gonna go go ahead and go to scripture okay we're gonna go to um, chapter 9 let's see start in verse 17 this is after uh, Paul, or I should say Saul, seen the Lord. Verse 17, Then Ananias, Ananias went to the house and entered it, placing his hands on Saul. He said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes. And he could see again. He got up and was baptized. And after taking some food, he regained his strength. Okay. This is before... Paul went on to other writings in the New Testament. Okay. And Ananias was sent to baptize Saul, who is not, who was named Paul. And as it says in verse 17. Immediately something like excuse me verse 18 immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again okay meaning he can see the truth the light okay he was filled with God's Spirit the Holy Spirit okay and then uh, 2nd Timothy What does he say in chapter 3, verse 16? All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So basically what you're saying is that Paul was a false apostle. So if Paul was a false apostle, then you would be calling the Holy Spirit that was inside Paul and all the disciples that obeyed God and wrote the scriptures as they were led by the Holy Spirit you're calling the Holy Spirit blatantly a liar You see, if Paul was a false apostle, then the Bible would be corrupt. But the fact is, Paul was led by God's Spirit. As the disciples today, we are led by the Spirit of the Lord, not by men's teachings. 
but by the teaching of the Holy Spirit because those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God so I pray that you receive this in love uh, I pray that you repent before it is too late for your soul I care about you I love you and again this is something that the Lord has called me to do for you to repent take down your false teachings that are leading people astray and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to reveal the truth to you and you will just humble yourself I myself I am nothing but a vessel for the Holy Spirit I'm only here to do the will of God as he leads me and guides me so that's all I am I'm just a servant again I love you and I pray that you repent God bless you brother Amen.